I'm a collector of game peripherals, and I have quite the collection. I mean, I have the five button beat mania controller, the Tam Tam Paradise controllers, I have a PlayStation 1 Densha Day controller, Keyboard Mania keyboard, and the Kodo Drum from Taiko Drum Master. This is one peripheral that I was really excited for, as I really liked the games from Japan in the arcades, but this game just sort of fizzled here in the US. But the drum does work for both US and Japanese games. So if you're like me and you like the game, but wanted to play the Japanese games with it, well then you're in luck, because... Drum Master was one of those games that did astoundingly well in Japan, and there were high hopes that people in the States would play it too, as it did really well in the US arcades. The problem was that the home version wasn't the best version that could come out. So Taiko no Tatsujin is based upon the popular style of Japanese drumming. Taiko drums were used by ancient Japanese military for moving troops as they marched to the beat of the drum. Kind of like a hup, two, three, four type of thing. Some sources say that the Taiko drums also acted as a way to advance an attack or retreat according to whatever the drum rhythm was. Later on, it was used in Japanese court music as well as in festivals, where one is more likely to find them played nowadays. There's also a taiko drum group called Kodo that performs with taiko drums and are quite popular. Now, 2001 saw the first taiko no tatsujin arcade machine called simply taiko no tatsujin. Since it was the first of its kind, it only had an easy mode for the songs. But for many of the songs, that easy was actually pretty hard. In 2002, the game was ported to the PS2 along with a controller called the Tatakon. This drum and its two drumsticks, known as bachi, became very popular and the series has spawned over 13 sequels in the arcades and over 10 on the PS2, as well as games for the DS, iPhone, the Wii, and various other consoles. So why didn't the American version do well? Well, the songs were probably one big reason. So, the game I'm going to show you today is for the PlayStation 2. Taiko no Tatsujin, Go Go Godaime. The gameplay is simple. Using the two bashi, hit the middle of the drum when you see the red drum face, known as Don. And the top, known as Katsu, when you see the blue drum face. If you see a bigger Don, then hit it with both bashi. Bigger Katsu, hit both sides. Now there are several times that you'll want to hit the controller as fast as you can. If you see a taiko drum with a balloon in its mouth, a drum face with a line behind it, or a sweet potato, I mean this particular game is taking place in the fall festival time period, then you hit the controller as fast as you can and rack up those points. Now you could just play this with a regular PS2 controller, with the shoulder buttons being for the edge hits and the face buttons and the directional pad being for the, for the face hits. But it's always more fun to hit stuff with other stuff! <laughs> when starting the game, choose a slot for your save data. Then put in your name. Now this is all going to be in hiragana, and so it might be tough to navigate. But just choose what you like. This is just a way for the game to recognize you. Next is the main screen. You can start a game, which, unlike in the arcades, is never ending. You can just play what you want, as long as you want. No quarters needed. You can play mini games that are included. Team play is for two to eight people to play a game. Beginner's class teaches you the basics of the game. Record of Taiko has all your scores. And the game settings allows you to change stuff. You really won't need to go here unless you want to change the automatic load from off to on. The mini games are really pretty fun. There's a running game, which will really give your upper arms a workout. Takoyaki Panic has you trying to catch all the flying takoyaki by moving your character back and forth. 
Dango Daisaksen is a game of red light, green light, while you try to steal Grandpa's Dango. This is my favorite minigame here. And then there's a farting game. Because you know, sweet potatoes make you fart. And it's a kid's game. So, farting's funny. And no, I'm not doing a farting joke because it's funny. Because it's not. Back to the main- I'm not gonna fart, okay? So, back to the main game. If you press the start button in the middle of the song, then you can choose to either restart the song, or go back to the main menu. As you play, you gain points, according to how well you did. Gain enough, and you can unlock new features or new songs. This game really has a lot to offer. On the downside, the Tyco controller slides around on a table a lot, and so you're almost forced to make a barrier or hold it between your knees. I mean, what a hassle. Or you could always ask a friend to hold the controller for you. Hey, Yankee J, could you do me a favor? Yeah, go eat paint chips, you schmuck. Yeah, that probably wouldn't work either. And yes, I do know that the PS2 Kamen Rider Hibiki game has a bonus disc that you can use the Tatakon controller for, but I don't have that game. So, I can't show it to you. Sorry, Kamen Rider fans. There are many versions of this game floating out there, and all of them are playable by almost everyone once you know how to navigate the different menus. The graphics are not the best, but it's a rhythm game, and they don't need to push the system's abilities. And, like I said before, once you know how to navigate the menus, really anyone can play any of these titles. That's why the arcade machines were, and continue to be, imported into the U.S. without any English patches. There are many versions of this little title, all the way from the DS, the PS2, PSP, and even on the Wii. The only one that's really not playable overseas is the Wii one, as the Wii is region locked with no non-hackable way around it. But, as I've said before, the DS and PSP games can work on any region console, and the PS2 can be worked around with a flip-top edition and a swap disc. But the swap discs are getting a little bit tougher to find because it's an older console. Tycho Drum Master is just one of those games, along with Beat Mania, that just didn't do well here in America on home consoles. But it still draws fans and crowds in arcades and has a very active import scene. It's a very niche market, and while it's a popular title, it really has no connection with anything here in the US, and so it just doesn't do well. And it is why importing and fan translations exist still. I mean, there are just some games that, as wonderful as they may be, they just wouldn't or didn't do very well here in America. <gasps> Really? That was the best insult you could come up with? Well, you would rather me say f you, you f***ing head of f***.